Welcome back. Yes, light and occasionally persuasive reading, a brochure. Well, David, it's Friday night. Everything's <laughs> fine. Everything's fine for you? Everything is hunky-dory, Richard. Uh, that's the phrase I'm looking at tonight, which has uh, two strong theories about the origin of the, of the phrase. Uh, hunky-dory means fine, dandy, perfectly all right. Um, I always thought it was a, a muscular fish, like a hunky-dory, <laughs> but, in fact, it's related to an 1870s minstrel song and the word hunky is linked to a Dutch word honk, which means home or hiding place. And now dory just seems to be an add-on to that. So it's essentially saying that everything is, is good because you are safe and sound. Um, the other theory, of course, is that it's sailor slang uh, because Honcho Dory was a red light district of Yokohama, which is uh, in Tokyo Bay. So possibly it comes from sailors as well. Now, the similar phrase is tickety-boo. Now, that's quite a quaint phrase and uh, was more in uh, prevalence during the 1920s when uh, the British was, were occupying uh, India because tickety-boo, which again means hunky-dory or fine, is linked to a, um, a Hindi phrase, which is tikai babu, which is I'm all right, sir, um, or it is all right, sir. So it was a, a corruption of tikai babu to tickety-boo. The reason being was predating that expression is the French phrase c'est la ticket, which is, it is the right course of action, which is to say something is just the ticket or properly done and is the source of the word etiquette, which is all about don't slurp your milkshake and keep your <laughs> elbows off the table. So there you go, hunky-dory, tickety-boo and also etiquette in one bundle. So many words for <laughs> saying absolutely everything's fine. <laughs> Good stuff, David. Indeed it is. And the scores are fine as well. Ian's on 16 and Alana is on 24. More letters now. They're yours, Ian. Lily, could I have a consonant, please? You can indeed. N. And another consonant. S. And another one, please. B. And one more. P. And a vowel. A. And another vowel, please. I. And another vowel. O. And a consonant, please. G. And a vowel, please. And lastly, U. 30 seconds on the clock. from that mix in? Six. And Alana? Six. Let's start with yours. Pianos. And yours in? Basing. Basing. Both OK for you, David? Both good. Uh, a tight game tonight. Now, I found pausing for seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, suspense as well, but not in that mix. <laughs> well done, David. Well done, Alana and Ian. Six points each. Let's have some more letters now. And uh, Alana, what would you like this time? I'll start with the vowel, thank you. E. And another vowel. O. Uh, consonant. R. And another consonant. M. Uh, another consonant. F. Uh, another consonant. T. Uh, vowel, please. U. Uh, another consonant. B. And I'll end with a vowel, thank you. And lastly, E. Here's the clock. How many from that mix? I'm hoping it's a six. OK, we are two. What about you, Ian? Six. Six, definitely, for yes. you. Let's start there. Former. 
And yours, Alana? Bereft. Well, I'm going to... Uh, you'll be bereft of six points here, Ian, because you've just realised... Yeah. Yeah. Former, there's only one R, so can't accept that. Bereft is fine, a good six, and uh, I love this little pairing of six-letter words. I couldn't find better than a six. Meteor and remote. <laughs> Anagrams of each other. <laughs> nice work. And six very good points for Alana. Back to the numbers now, and uh, Ian, as uh, we heard, you've got a great memory for numbers. Do you have a favourite combination of numbers? Are you going to do something a little wild? Uh, nothing too wild at the moment. I think I'll take three small and three large, please, Lily. Thanks, Ian. Three large and three small. And starting with the smalls, five, two, eight, and the three large, 75, 25 and 50. The target to reach is 459. Thanks, Lily. Here we go. Perfect match of uh, numbers work out for you. Four off, 455. Four off on 455. Alana? Also 455. Both of you. Very well done. Well, uh, let's start with your approach, Ian. Eight plus two. Eight plus two is ten. Times fifty. By the fifty is five hundred. Minus 75 minus twenty-five. Seventy-five minus twenty-five is fifty. Plus five. Plus the five gives you 455. So, well done, Ian. You are at 455. Now, Alana, you had the same. Did you get it the same way? I did slightly different. OK. Tell us what you did, please. Um, eight plus two is ten. Ten. Yep. Times of 50. By the 50. 500. 500. Uh, I actually minus the 75 to get Mi 425. Minus the 75 is 425. And then I added 25 makes 450. Plus the 25 is And then plus 5. It's 455. Plus 5 is 455. So, a good result. In fact, exactly the same result for both Ian and Alana. 455 is 4 off. How close did you get, Lily? I've got 460, but I might ask for the break to have a little think about it. Oh, so it was a tough one. Yeah. All right, Lily, a couple of extra minutes to see if you can crack it. Let's have a look at the scores. And, of course, seven points each for Alana and Ian, which means Ian's on 29 and Alana is on 43. As we go to a brief break and another word mix for you, it's mere toad. And the clue, neither underwhelming nor overwhelming. Back soon. <laughs>